everybody. I'm going to do a what's in my um, baby's hospital bag uh, video, obviously. This is a pink lining, uh, blooming gorgeous hydrangea bag. I think this is actually finished. They don't really do this one anymore, um, but I got it on sale from, it was down from 80 to 50, I believe, or 45 possibly. Anyway, I love it. It's pretty. Um, and I don't know what I'm having and I don't care that it's more girly than boy because I'm the one carrying it, not the baby. So, in the front pocket I don't have anything, but it has a nice front pocket. It has some uh, lovely straps that come with, so you've got the two that you can have, just pick it up like that, or you have like the messenger strap, which is, I really like the purple stripes, and these clip on the side um, with a doodad. I don't know, and they're good. And then you've also got bottle or whatever pockets at the side, which I'm also not using right now. So this is just how I'm gonna use it um, for going to the hospital. And obviously after that, I'll use it, work out what works best for me when I actually have the baby. It also has a clip so you can put the straps together. And it's got this nice kind of faux leather sort of stuff on, on them. And it's nice. All right, so inside. It's very, very full. <laughs> so what I'm taking, I have a little hat. The baby's due in uh, 2nd of October. So it might be warm, it might not be warm. I'm just going to, um, uh, I have a dim hello. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a hat just in case it's cold outside. I mean, you don't really need to put hats on babies very much, but look how cute it is. Okay, I am taking a cellular blanket, white one, cause I don't know what I'm having. Um, then this is a look at the inside. So it has a comes with a changing mat with the yummy mummy on that one side and pink lining on the other side. It's just laminated so you can wipe it down nice and easily. So that's in there. It also has a little wet bag, which I do plan on having a change of clothes in when I actually you know have the baby and. I'm carrying this bag around for that. <laughs> I have, right, so I'm, I'm cloth diapering, but I don't know yet whether I'm going to use cloth nappies or disposable nappies at the hospital, so I kind of figure I'm gonna take both. So at the moment, I have a small um, Melovia wrap with uh, a newborn, it has a newborn um, flip insert in, inside it, already made up, ready to go. Everything's washed and prepped and everything. So I have that one. And then I have Planet Wise wrap, which is again small. So I'm hoping these will fit, but I'm also, when I get them, gonna pack my newborn. And I have two newborn wraps coming. So I'm gonna pack those as well, because I don't know what's gonna fit. So I take that. I have in this back here, this in this is a um, breastfeeding cover. I don't necessarily know that I'll want to use it in the hospital, but I just have it just in case and also because this is where it's going to live, so it can be there now. I have a set of two dummies. I do need to sterilise these, but I have them in there for now anyway. Again, I don't know if I'm going to use dummies, but I want them just in case because my daughter, after she was born, um, was desperate for a dummy. I didn't sleep for hours and the whole night after she was born and then my husband came in and put one in her mouth and she was fine and I was like, okay. So I'm taking them just in case. I have a wet bag for, um, if, I don't know how long we're going to be in hospital for. I'm hoping not long, but just in case there's a wet bag put disposable things in. No, not disposable, not disposable things in. I have my cloth white bag that I've got with the spray and wipes, so it's all ready to go to clean baby up. I mean, you're not meant to use dis um, disposable wipes on babies when they're first born anyway. I did have, I was gonna take, I don't know where it is, but cotton pads, because that's what I was gonna use before I decided to cloth diaper. So I did have those, but there's no point in using those when I have these anyway. Um, and then I have two, these are tiny baby, baby grows, I've got so one, with the white and just little grey elephant and then I have just a grey one because again I don't know what I'm having. Um, I'm taking tiny baby in case because again I don't know what size the baby's going to be and my daughter she was eight pounds eleven three weeks early so she was giant and she still fit in tiny baby 
so I think she was very short. <laughs> so I'm going to take those in case the newborns just don't fit, they're too big. But I'm also taking two newborn, similar thing, white and grey, little star on this one, um, two newborn ones uh, because they might not fit in tiny baby, so same thing. Uh, I think four baby grows is more than enough and two should be enough. If not, I can, you know, send my husband home for more. <laughs> and then I have um, three little vests. So, yeah. All neutral. And they, these are basically virtually the only clothes I have for the baby because I don't know what I'm having and I know that once I know what I'm having that I'm going to want gender specific clothes. So I have a few more of those what, um, baby grows and a few more vests but that's basically it. And I do have a coat as well which I will be taking, I'll show you that in a minute. I have a mini tub of Sudocrem, again I really don't think I'll use it, it's a sample. Uh, they don't need it when they're newborn and it's actually not really cloth nappy safe but just in case, I don't know if it's in there. I have a little pot to put water in in case um, I don't like the spray system. This is what I use with my daughter with just cotton wipes. I would put water in and I could just dunk it in so it's worth having in there in case that works better. Um, also have a mirror that is attached to this part of the pink lining bag. Every one of them has them. I have another dummy attached to the dummy thing. <laughs> These are different size, so when with my daughter, she would only take mam dummies, these exact ones. Um, and these are actually 12 months plus, but she would only have these from newborn. So, but this is a newborn one, so I'm going to take both. I, I need to take some, get some dummy wipes, because I haven't done that yet. And then I have in the back pocket, so this is, there's a front pocket here that doesn't have anything in. This is where I was putting the, some of the clothes. And then there's two back pockets here, so I have a mixture. <laughs> Actually, I might put these in different pockets. Anyway, I have some disposable newborn nappies because it might just be easier in hospital to use those. Um, I have quite a few of those actually. Ah, come out. There we go. Yeah, a few of those. And then I have five. Um, of the newborn flip inserts to go in the wraps. Again, it depends on how long I'm there, obviously. But if I don't, if they don't, and I, I'm going to try pre-folds and things like that. But that takes up a lot of space. So if these don't work for any reason, I will just use those while I'm in hospital. So those are in the back there. Um, and there's also a pen holder and a zip pocket at the back. But I don't have anything in that. Obviously, this is how I'm using the bag to to be prepared for the baby at the hospital and to bring the baby home um, and then after that I'm going to decide how to set the bag up once the baby's here and I will do a different video on that but yeah that is everything I think I will need for the baby if you can think of anything else let me know but yeah that is what is in my hospital nappy bag I love it mm -hmm.